cancer of the tonsil growing into the neck. Right. And either way, you're going to most likely have very successful treatment to offer to him, right? Non-invasive treatment. Absolutely. So no cutting, no bleeding, and uh, just yep. outpatient therapy. Yep. How do people find you if they want to speak to you about their cases? Well, uh, they can call me directly 24-7 at 917-836-8105. And for the uh, Spanish community, para la comunidad en español, me pueden llamar al 917-836-8105. Right. And you also had an interesting case uh, this week, a man with a cancer of his nose Right. who didn't want to lose his nose to radical surgery, and mm -hmm. uh, he's choosing uh, uh, focused radiation just to treat the uh, cancer of the nose, right? And this is a patient that already has two uh, surgeries. Also, he has a plastic surgery on the nose. He's a patient that uh, was very concerned about cosmesis as well, but also um, he didn't want to have more surgeries. and. Just for the audience, skin cancer is a very important issue, and we have to take it very seriously. Right, and we're very and successful treating skin cancers, especially around the eyes, ears, right. nose, and uh, mouth, but anywhere, in fact. Right, so I encourage patients that if they have a skin cancer and the doctors, they want to do uh, some type of... Get a second therapy. opinion. Call 212 Choices. <laughs> 212 Choices. John, if you had a Absolutely. skin cancer... What would you want? Your okay. nose cut on or I, I, some I think I would call, I think I would get a second opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, and, I'd um, like a second opinion. Keep too. the nose on my face. I like my nose. All yeah. right, Dr. Eisen, thank you very much. And uh, again, what's that okay. number once more for uh, Espanol? Uh, for the Espanol, para la comunidad de Espanol, 917-836-8105. Okay, gracias. Thank you Thanks, very Dr. much. Thanks, Dr. Eisen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. We had a great call from an 80-year-old physician. <clears throat> Practicing physician, his father died of prostate cancer. His son died of prostate cancer at 55. Wow. Now he has a PSA of 50, and he wants to know what to do. And he does not want to die. He's 80 years old. If you look at the insurance tables, he's very likely to live another 10, 15 years, Good, right? Awesome. So you don't have to write someone off because they're 80 years old. It's actually unethical, and it's against the law to bias against someone because of their age. Okay, he's a practicing doctor, strong family history. I told him he needs to come in, get a biopsy, and actually in high-risk patients, we have incredible data, much better than with surgery. Many people think erroneously, if you remove the prostate, you're home free. In fact, for high-risk cancers like that, 80% of the cancers come back after radical surgery. Plus, okay. you have all the complications. Complications. What are the complications? Well, let's, let's start. Um, erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. The main complication incontinence. is incontinence. The main complication is the failure the, 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 of the, the surgery. The cancer still there. The cancer comes right, back. Right. So that's the biggest complication. The cancer comes back. Then you have impotence, uh, leaking urine, and all the other things. So, uh, if you have a prostate cancer, I'd urge you to look at the data because the data tells you everything. A lot of people erroneously believe if you have robotic surgery or open surgery and you cut it out, you're home free. Actually, it seems like the surgery just spreads the cancer for prostate cancer. I can show you data. So you can look at our booklet, page 16 of our prostate booklet. We have booklets for body radio surgery and for prostate and for brain tumors that are free if you just call us at 212 Choices, 212 Choices, which is 212-246-4237. And I'd urge you to spend an hour or two and let's talk about your case before you get the knife because uh, we can't put you back together again after the knife. I was going to say, it's certainly worth a call to you, doctor, um, and get the information, have a discussion with you, and uh, this way you both can really assess what the next step should be. Ariel, I was going to tell you okay. about prostate, about uh, kidney cancer. We had a man who came in for a one-year follow-up yesterday. We treated his kidney cancer in the kidney. He has no metastasis. We treated the kidney cancer. So and that's something you, you you did hundreds of those. Yes, and you're you very, did hundreds. And a lot of, you're ready, hundreds in the kidney, but in the kidney, thousands. and even thousands outside of the body. So he has been successfully treated. His tumor has stopped. His family's happy. He's happy. He had zero side effects. And his kidney function is back. Is his normal. kidney function is perfect. It's actually the family was was concerned because there were a little asterisk next to the BUN and creatinine. It was better than normal. <laughs> really, he came better back than stronger normal. than. Uh, it came back, and he had no normal. surgery. No surgery. He's no and cutting, and he's treatment. doing well. Unbelievable. That's what we want. That's what we want. 
And we spoke about the man who had the cryotherapy at some famous hospital. Yeah, a couple, years, yep. a couple of weeks ago. Right. We spoke about him, but he had cryotherapy two Twice. years ago at a big hospital. Right. A year ago, he had cryotherapy. His PSA kept on going up, up, up. So he decided to go ahead with treatment with us, with radio surgery and with brachytherapy, which is our premium program. And what exactly is that? Well, radio surgery means we make a stereotactic frame of the patient. Everything is custom molded. So stereotactic means you can find where the tumor is in in the body. Right. There's an external frame. We're one of the few hospitals in America, a few facilities in America that uses true stereotactic radio surgery. It's not just an advertising gimmick. It's non-invasive, painless, outpatient. You come in, get a treatment, and send in the beams of radiation, followed by brachytherapy in our own facility. So it's very warm, very friendly, and it's uh, half the time of proton beam, half the time of cyber knife. And it's, con- it's, con- it's convenient. It's not only convenient, but more effective. effective. So I really urge people to read the data or give me a call before you make a decision. And you have your data. We're almost at the end of the hour. We have two shows, two new shows on WOR tomorrow, which is 710 on your dial, from 6 to 7 a.m. And from 9 to 10 p.m., Dr. Grace will be talking about how to make chemo more effective for you and less toxic with custom-made chemo. So thank you very much for tuning in. Again, during the week, if you have questions, call anytime, 212-CHOICES. 212-246-4237. Thank you all, and God bless you. Thank weekend. you, John. Have thank week. you, Ariel. Have a safe flight. Have, thank you. Yeah, safe trip, Ariel. Bye. Take care. Thanks for tuning in to the Radio Surgery Hour with Dr. Gil Lederman and myself. If you have questions before next week's show, just contact Dr. Lederman at 212-CHOICES. That's 212-246-4237. That's 212-246-4237. This is Rob Redstone. Till next week.